congratulations on getting started at iUniversity Prep. You have a lot of questions and we have a lot of answers, which is what this video is really all about. How to access and move through the orientation course that will introduce you to the systems and expectations at iUniversity Prep. We recommend that parents and students work through this course together. It should take anywhere from one to three hours to complete, but once you're done, you should be in a place where you feel more comfortable completing schoolwork in the virtual environment. The orientation course, called the IPOP, is housed in a learning management system known as Buzz. You can reach the login page by navigating your web browser to iUniversityPrep.AgilixBuzz.com. By the time you start the IPOP, the login page will be personalized to iUniversity Prep and probably not the generic green and gray layout you see now. From the student tab, you'll enter your username and password, which you should have received in the same email where you found the link to this video. After logging in, you'll notice a purple icon with the IPOP logo. Clicking on it will take you directly to the IPOP course. The course homepage will show you several pieces of information including how much of the course you have completed, which you can see in a purple circle near the top. Front and center, you will see an icon for the lesson that you need to complete. The first lesson you'll see is entitled, Wisely Says Welcome. On the left side of the screen is a course tree, which is minimized to start. Clicking on it will show the entire course layout. To start the course, click on the Wisely Says Welcome icon in the center of the page or on the course tree. Most of the lessons in the iPop take the form you see here. It might take anywhere from 5 to 20 seconds to load each lesson, depending on your internet speed and connection. Lines of text appear in the box at the bottom of the lesson. Once you see the bouncing cursor icon, you'll know that you have read all the text that is slated to appear. Left-clicking the mouse anywhere on the screen will move to the next slide of the lesson. The text will be broken up by choices that appear as buttons on the screen. Clicking on the buttons will display the appropriate result for your choice. At the end of a lesson, a slide appears telling you to do two things. First, you mark the activity as complete in the bottom right. Second, you use the right-facing arrow on the top right of the screen to move to the next lesson. If you ever see this message, you know that you have accidentally skipped over a required lesson. Use the left-facing back arrow on the top right of the screen or the course tree to hit the lesson you skipped. When your lesson has been successfully completed, a green check icon appears in the course tree next to the lesson's name. You'll notice that one lesson contains a detailed survey. The survey lets us know how to best individualize for each student. The survey is three pages, so make sure to click continue at the bottom of the first two pages. Finally, you need to know that the final lesson in the IPOP is for the learning coach, so pencil in some time for that. I hope this video can get you started and that you enjoy your first weeks at iUniversity Prep.